I can see you. Oh, no f way. No f Apologize. <gasps> I'm sorry. actually bought the house in December of 2018. When I walked through the front door, I felt like I had come home. The house was built in 1894. William Aker Heyman is the gentleman that you know, built the house. At the time, this was the first house built on this side of the river. The house was in bad shape and everybody was saying, you're crazy if you buy it, you're crazy if you buy it. But for some reason, I could see what it is now. Then, you know, things started happening to us. Like a four foot shadow moved from the bathroom over to the fireplace. She said, I walked up on that porch. She said, and I stuck that key in that door. She said, and it sounded like a hundred people took off running in the house. And she said, we didn't stop until we was in the street. She, and she asked me, she said, somebody's in there, what do you want me to do? He told her, he said, well, he had his pistol with him so they would just come in. So they did, they came in and they went all over this house and they didn't find a thing, nothing. My stepdaughter was up here with us and there was just three of us, we were sitting in there. She got up and went to the bathroom, which is back here underneath the stairs. And she came back in there and she was like, who's here? And I said, just us. And she said, no, somebody's here. And I was like, not that I know of. And she said, when I went back to the bathroom, she said, a man went up the stairs beside of me. And she said, I seen him go up the stairs. And we looked all over the house and that was the first time she'd ever seen anything. I have been touched in the attic. I had went up there one night to close the window in the bathroom part. And I had a, on a low cut dress and there was three cold fingers just slid right across my chest and come off my shoulder. I, I'd never been touched touched before and it scared me pretty good. So, you know, I just, I came back downstairs. I was done with that for a little bit. We could hear a woman and she was hysterically bawling. She said it, it was coming from the right. So she said, we walked over through there and it was of course the blue bathroom. And she said, there was a lady standing there. She said she had her face in her hands and was just snubbing a crying but she said that the woman actually kind of looked up, like acknowledged they were there, and then was gone, like as fast as what they saw her. So we believe that might have been Mr. Heyman's first wife, Emma. She passed away here in the house at 43. And I could tell by the look on her face something was wrong. So I was like, you know, what's wrong? And she told me, she said, Teresa, something held me in that bathroom. She said the door would not come open. She said, I was beating on the window. She said, I was beating on the door. She said, I am screaming. She said, I could hear y'all's conversation in the kitchen. I could tell that you wasn't hearing me. And she said, it just felt like she had cotton in her ears. And she said, then when the door finally did come open, she said, it came open by itself. She said, I wasn't even touching it. I was in there for a couple minutes and the doorknob shut twice. And I just sat there and watched it. It just, I don't know what it is about that bathroom, but one group has it on film, the bathroom door just coming open by itself. There's footsteps in the hallway on the second floor, and that happens day and night. I'm here through the day by myself, and you can hear it as far as us living in the house. He's, no, he, he tells me, I won't, no, I'll never live in that house, which I, you know, I can't blame him. There's a lot of things that's, you know, went on with him. You could see, it, it looked like a, a man walked by, right by that window. So we all were kind of like looked at each other because that window's too high. You would have to be 10 foot tall for us to see you in here walking past that window. His second wife, Ethel, I have the death certificate saying that she passed away at home 
here and it was due to breast cancer. They've told me that they believe Mrs. Heyman, the first Mrs. Heyman, Emma, was a spiritualist and that there were seances done in that attic. A portal is open somewhere because we get a little girl, you can hear her giggle. We think what is a little boy here run up and poke you in the ribs. I've had several people get poked in the ribs. The one dominant male, which we believe is Mr. Heyman, and then the lady in white is what we call the woman that's been seen here so much. She travels a lot back and forth between the two bedrooms on the second floor. It sounded like somebody was up there just literally dragging furniture across the floor. My friend Sandy, she said, Teresa, she said, don't go up there. And when she did, I stopped. And when I stopped, there was a door on the second floor somewhere. It slammed shut in which I came and knew back downstairs real fast. He said, I went to that mirror three times to cut it. And he said, all three times, there was a gray-headed old lady that looked at me, said she shook her head no. And he said, I'm not cutting the mirror. He said, and I'd advise nobody to cut the mirror. I just had it leaned up against the wall out there and I'm standing there taking pictures. And it, it looked like in the kitchen behind me that there was a woman standing in the kitchen behind me. It was, it was pretty strange. Whomever is in this house is intelligent, very intelligent. It's an intelligent honor. They can communicate with you if they want to, definitely. My husband, he's seen, he said it's four foot, and he said it comes from that bathroom and goes over to the fireplace. And he's seen it three different occasions, three different times he saw it. And he said he woke up like at 3 a.m. and to the woman standing beside the bed. He told me, he said, I got up and left. He said, I, it, I didn't want no part of it. He said, I got up and left. This room, you'll get a lot of disembodied, mumbled voices. You can hear several, like, different voices, but you can't make out what they're saying. Now, we get that on the second floor a lot. But this room here is where they were saying that they believed that Emma had seances in this room. And I do believe a portal opened somewhere in this house. I was up here cleaning one day and I just heard a real low mumble, just a, just a growl. I mean, that day when I heard it, I, I went home. I just, that was the only thing that's, you know, got me to where I went home. You know, me being here by myself. I believe that um, a lot of spirits pass through this house. I really do. You know, the stone wall, the river right there, there's water runs through the basement. I mean, it's all conduits. Okay, we are in Sutton, West Virginia, getting ready to investigate the infamous Heyman House, which is right behind us. We've heard a lot of stories come from this location. Several teams have been in here and documented some pretty crazy and compelling paranormal evidence. So we're gonna head inside and start the investigation. My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We came here tonight to visit your house and to communicate with you. We have heard that a lot of people have come in here to try to talk to you and to learn more about you. So if you could come forward and try to communicate with us and talk with us, we would appreciate it. Can you see us? Are you able to hear us? Are you up by our alarm? We've got several alarms throughout your house. Upstairs in your office the bedrooms, the servant quarters, and the one you just set off on top of the stairs. Can you hit something for us? That was loud.
Can you come down the stairs? If you do, you can set our alarm off. I'm hearing like walking. If you're walking upstairs, please come down here. That upstairs is definitely creepier than the first floor. You think? Oh, yeah. If you set one of our alarms off, we'll come upstairs. And we've also got a camera in there recording the security cameras. So if something happens upstairs, we'll be able to document it. Is it okay to come upstairs? This camera keeps blurring out. I just heard something right before you talked. Was that you? Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, we're upstairs. It's definitely a heavier feel. Mr. and Mrs. Hammond, can you come out and talk to us? We're guests in your house. Who is the woman that they've seen crying? Do you want to come out and tell us why you're sad? That was freaking loud. Are you walking closer to us? so freaking loud. I can't tell if it was out there if it was above us. You know how sometimes when you're in a place like this you think you hear like footsteps but you're not 100% sure that was legit somebody walking. And it wasn't like a few footsteps that was like walking clear across the floor. The person that we heard walking, where are you at right now? Are you able to knock on anything? They say that they see children and hear children. Who are the kids that are inside this house? I wonder if sometimes they're like, oh shit, somebody broke inside my house and they're all hiding from us. Or something back there. That way. Sounds like it's moving on the steps. I want to try to, I think this is the bathroom where they seen the woman, full body apparition. She was standing there like this crying. Whoa, that was loud. Yeah. Did you hear that? 
The Big Bang. Oh, you didn't say, oh my God. No. Okay, some said, oh my God, right behind me. There's a voice. And there was the alarm, yeah, a bang. Said, oh my God. And then you heard the voice. That's when I heard a bang right before I told you to hush. That's what I heard was a bang. Or... Did you hear it say, oh my God? Yeah, it was like... And they've had other groups in here, but this house hasn't been like investigated like a whole lot by a bunch of different groups. So some of the equipment they may not even be used to yet. Who said, oh my God? That's what I like about these old houses with these wood floors. You can hear everything. Sean, give me that camera and let's go upstairs. Whatever it is, it's coming from upstairs. We keep hearing somebody up here. Can you see us? If you're up here, can you do something? Let us know that you're here. Is it okay for us to be here? Can you knock on something? Move one of the doors up here. That was freaking loud. Go out here, Sean. Mm-hmm. We shot them all. I wonder if that's what crashed. I know. And we shot them all. If you open that up, can you open it again for us? Maybe you don't like it closed. We know that this was your office. If you open it, we'll have a good view of the courthouse. I'd like to see you, see what you saw. <laughs> okay, which way you want me to go? Up or down? Make a loud noise or talk to me. Sean, let's set you in that office. Then Rocky and I will go down and monitor the security cameras down on the first floor. This is a full head. What the heck was that? Are you okay? Right now, Sean's up on the second floor by himself. Okay, I got a device here that if you want to try to caution. caution. And I was just sitting here talking about, you know, some people have good experience, some people I don't think it's been that good where they've been scratched or something like that. Nice. Nice. Can you tell me what your name is? I'm Sean. You can speak through this right here to tell me your name. Are you the man that owned this house? William, if by you are here, I'd just like to tell you, you built a beautiful home. And Teresa and her husband's trying to Put it back. Does that make you happy knowing that people love your house as much as you did? Something went right into the door right here, where the other room where equipment's at. I heard you uh, had a wife. Tapping. Dead. Dead. Yeah, I know you're dead. I'm, but I do believe you lived a full life.
alive. So you definitely get a creepier feeling up here. But we're gonna go for it. You only hear once, right? When? Whoa. When? I'm coming up now. Holy this room's dark. I need to find a place to set my camera. Mannequin scared the out of me. Okay, I'm up here by myself on the third floor. We believe that we heard knocking up here. Mr. Hammond? Why are you here? We are here to talk Mary. to you. Mary, we are here to talk to you. We want to learn about your history and learn about your family and about your beautiful house. We heard that you are a great attorney and you want a lot of cases in New York City. Can you talk to me about those cases? I think it was your wife that passed away inside this house from cancer. Is she the one that everybody sees? Can you come talk to me, please? Knocking. That was loud. Who was that? Are you up here? Whoa, right down to his head. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's like, um, like this freaking big. Whoa, right down to his head. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's like. Um, like this freaking big. Moving to his office. Okay, I'm in your office now. Do you not like having us here? Who is walking that we can hear? It's an intelligent haunting. If he wants to communicate with you, he will. It just feels like a dominant male energy. Strange, because you hear knocking and walking for sure. And Rocky's heard some voices. I can see you. Oh, no fucking way. No fuck. Apologize. <gasps> I'm sorry. Holy sh Annoying. I heard walking. I cussed. And it said to apologize. But walking, I can see you. I cussed. And then it told me to apologize for cussing. Okay, you're being vocal now. 
I heard you walking before you spoke through my device. Believe. I do believe. Talk with me. I am talking. I believe that you're here. What's it like on the other side? Dude, that is crazy. Can you see me? Battle. battle. I'm sure there was a battle in this area. Monster. Monster. Are you trying to scare me to make me leave? Every time I hear something out in the hallway knocking, I'm gonna put this, let me change this around because I can hear. How do I use it? Well, once I get it set up, you can walk past it, okay? What? What? Rocky. What? What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. Loud male voice. Well, keep talking to it. There was a loud male voice. Well, let me give me one second. Because I want to see down this hallway. Do I use it? Walk past it. That's out there is where I was hearing the footsteps to knock you. If you walk down that hallway again, you'll set my alarm off. Can you tell me what your wife's name is? I hope my audio picked that voice up. Was... I'm going. No, don't leave. Come back in here, please. If you don't come back in here, I'm going to break something. Drown. How am I going to drown? On the window. I think somebody died from COPD here. That's kind of like drowning, maybe. A gentleman that lived here in the 70s, they said he had COPD real, real bad. Now, he passed away here in the house. Did you leave? Keep recording. Keep recording. That was loud. Yeah, this area is definitely very active. Who are you? My name is Josh. Who are you? I'm from Ohio. Don't come in. I'm already in your office. They said I'm allowed coming in here. The people who own this house now. So now you can't tell people what to do. And. And. Front. Front. 
You know how you like watch a horror movie and you hear all those sounds? That's what this room's like. The coming from behind me is crazy. 22. 22. The bad thing is I'm all the way up here on the third floor. Rocky and Sean's all the way downstairs on the first floor. And the camera that they're listening to, they can't see me. And clearly Rocky's not gonna get up steps very fast. You see him fall down the steps. Who keeps making noises out there? Come in here with me. You like having people come inside your house and talk to you? Do you find it disrespectful? We believe that your wife was holding seances inside this house. Church. Church. Did you know that she was doing that? And it's possible that she opened a portal to the other side all those years ago. Hello. Hello. Mr. Hammond, I bet you experienced things when you were living inside this house. Did you have paranormal experiences here? Why were you guys trying to communicate with the other side? Where did you go? Over here. Over here. You're over there? Where's over here at? I'm gonna stick this thing. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm gonna put this right there just in case the camera falls. It was Elizabeth. I heard you walking out here. It was Elizabeth. Traitor. Traitor. Okay, I'm gonna get back downstairs with Rocky and Sean. I'm going to leave my alarm. So if you can shut these doors or set my alarm off, I appreciate it. Oh, that was a big light. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Something went right into that room by the stairs, like a mist, to your left. Can you tell me who's here with me? William, are you in here? William, do you like what they've done to your house? Hi, my name's Rocky. Hey, Mr. Spirits in here, can you talk with me? Can you tell me your name? Did you build this home? William, are you there? How many spirits are in here? Are you guys here? It was on the 
Tell me where you passed away at and you died in here? So, yeah? Did you pass away in here? You stay in that room right in front of me? What's your name? Okay, we're down in the basement. Is there anybody down here with us? I'd say definitely that third floor, the attic, where his office is. Yeah, I think just both of them rooms upstairs. Looks like the main level of the house, I feel fine. So I think it feels fine down here. Typical haunting, everything's active and then it just goes dead quiet. Sometimes it'll ramp back up and sometimes it'll be quiet the rest of the night. Telling you, if you face that hallway, yeah. that is freaking creepy as hell up there. You know, if you think about it, that's probably the area that they spent the most time at, too, when they lived here. Because he was like always up in his office and stuff. The bedrooms, everything was up there. So they may not have spent a whole lot of time on the main level. I mean, we've definitely documented stuff that would leave. Did he have kids or anything? Or I don't know. I think so, yeah. I just got a... It was the weirdest breeze I've ever felt off my left side. Is anybody up here that might talk to me? I got alarms set up around me. If you set it off, I'll know that you're here with me. I think I just felt you already. Can you hit something or remove something? Just please don't hurt my cameras. If you really enjoy talking to Josh up here, can you talk to me? Catherine. Catherine. Well, hello, Catherine. What the heck was that? Catherine, was that you? I seriously had no freaking clue what that was. If it was a freaking voice, if it was a growl, if it, it kind of just took me by surprise, happened so fast. Catherine, did you work here? Did you know William or his wife? Jason. Jason. Now, somebody told Rocky earlier there was, I think, eight spirits in here. So is Catherine, Jason, are you two of the eight? Catherine or Jason, are you in here? Would you like to talk to me? If you slam one of these doors, I'll know that you're definitely here with me. I'm probably definitely not going to get down those steps fast enough. Closet. What's in the closet? Definitely not me. Guardian. The Guardian? Who's that?
Dude, why? What year is it? Again. Do you like the same? And the year is 2022. Did you ever sing? <gasps> Something's dragging. I can't tell if it's coming from this room over here or down on the second floor. Can you sing me something? I'm going to have to leave. Then you may never get a chance to talk to me again. So this is my chance to be able to talk. Well, I'm looking around. I just don't like to. Can you tell me what you look like? What's your hair color? Sean, I don't think you're alone. the delay. Oh, okay. What the frick was that? That was weird as fuck. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen on a camera. Mm -hmm. In that doorway, did you see that? Oh, where? It's like an orb is going, making like lines and, uh -huh. and it just disappears. 